my grandfather. Yan, nililinis mo na niya. Kasi, ah, uh, ito, uh, itutuloy namin yung, ano, yung itong paglagay ng espalto dito. So, yan, lininis mo na para ma-stick yung, ano, espalto doon. by the instructions these are supposed to be turned upside down for 24 hours at least 24 hours before you start using them that way the watery stuff on the top dissolves and becomes a thick like tar so see it's not here, we did all this before to see how it would go it turned out nice so we're going to do the next four blocks today we did i think five previously we'll do four more and then the goal is to have it all done within probably not till next year but we're not in a big hurry it just it makes it nicer and lasts longer for 24 hours there's not that white watery residue on there that's what you want it's thick that's ready to spread so you need to start nine yet on Here's your squeegee that you'll use to spread it out. And you want to try to spread it. Not at all not in the sun now, which is nice, because in about an hour and a half it's gonna be all sunny. See the sweep back and forth to fill in the cracks. We figured it up from last time. One bucket does about one square. Unfortunately, the weather is blowing grass into my... Can't do anything about that. I go just past the crack, so it fills the crack in, but it won't affect anything behind it. Came out before we did all this, make sure we clean really well because you want to make sure you get all the loose debris out of there. The best you can. I mean, it's not going to be, I don't know, you get all of it unless you spend a lot, a lot of time. But then you got wind blowing that's going to bring more. See what I'm doing? There's little holes, and as you go back and forth, it fills those in. You'll eventually know when you're getting the right place because it'll just start, you won't have anything left.
So see what we're doing when I tell you four blocks. You see our driveway was laid down in, in paths. So this is the first one. And then there's three more we're gonna do. We did five last time. And then that will leave us with one, two, three, four and the, the attachment to the street for whatever we decide to do the last one. Next year we'll go over it again one time. You just go over it a little bit, fill out anything that may have, you know, come loose or didn't quite fill in the way you want. This is the first time we've ever done it. That's why we trialed it up front to see how it looked. And it turned out nice. And people have said, you know, they, they think it looks good. I've had several people compliment it. So, we to get ahead and do some more. So, one bucket of that. Bucket is one square. Yeah, one bucket of that one and one square like this. We did that by trial and error because last time I thought I could do one and a half. I ended up falling short and I had to buy an extra bucket. Yeah. We have two 200 and two 500 because they ran out of the 500. 200 is supposed to be two years, 500 is supposed to be five years. But since we're going to redo it next year right away anyway, I just, it didn't matter. Then after that, we use 800 and that's supposed to be for eight years now we'll make sure this one's set up like it's see this one's a little watery but they both sat up the same amount of time three but it's not as thick as the other one was but then we'll put the out the exact I second square. I second. <laughs> yes, I can square. Yeah. As you notice, when I'm doing this, I'm pulling straight back. Then the next time I go at an angle, and that will catch any cracks you may have missed going straight back. Because uh, you'll have small little pits in your driveway, just naturally. And in order to fill them, you may not be able to hit them straight on. You have to go at an angle. And then you just keep going back and forth. You might do it once or twice this way, then change your angle. Keep, keep adjusting your stroke. And you'll see it fill in the cracks. Because if you don't, you'll see little gray spots. And that's how you know to go back over. You hear what I'm talking about. Zoom in on that right there. You see that? I went straight across on that one and it didn't fill it. So now we're going to go back over it and we'll pull at an angle. That's the whole idea of this. Make sure you get any spots that you may have there. So that's the third square. Almost finished. So one more, one more square and done. So that's the third one. Ito na yung last block na. That's the last block. Last block. Yeah. Patapos na siya. Yung, yung apat na four blocks ay na na cover na niya at may one fourth pang natira sa bucket
So, yung kunti lang ang hindi pa nalalagyan doon. So, ilang um, square lang doon. So, pero baka next year na namin gamitin. At least nagawan na lahat dito banda sa dito banda. So, okay na siya. Ang ganda niya. Yan, it's done. Tapos na. <laughs> Tapos na. Maganda na siya. Yung buong nagawa. And grass onto it. So, yeah, there is a grass kasi na napunta yung mga better grass to on. Better like this or like that? <laughs> it's cool. Nice. Yeah, but then when you look at that up there, does it where you're standing? <laughs> you can tell the big difference. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll be able to pull the cars on tonight. So, which one is dry, dry? So, yeah. So, four left to do. Yeah. Four. Four square din doon. Hindi pa natapos, pero baka next year na yan. Yan, uh, umaga na ngayon. At kahapon ay umulan, ay uh, nung gabi ay umulan. Pero okay naman siya. Yan. Okay sila. Kasi nung ano, that day na kahapon din, ay nag-dry na siya. At um, kahit umulan siya ng gabi ay okay naman siya. So, great one. Hmm.